injuries, injuries, injuries. Something that happens in every sport that we wish would never happen. Some injuries are not as serious, but could take a little bit of time to heal. But then there are the serious injuries. Injuries that can potentially end your career or make you miss one or even more seasons. We've already heard of the NFL's worst injuries from other YouTube videos. We've heard of the bad NBA injuries. But what if I told you a story about an MLB player who died on the field? How's everybody doing today? It's Sports All Back to another video. Today, I'm going to talk about the MLB player who actually died on the field. Let's not waste any time, and let's get straight into it. Let me first give you an idea of the situation. The date is August 16th, 1920, where the Cleveland Indians played against the New York Yankees at the Polo Grounds. And on the mound for the Yankees was a 6 feet 195 pounder born in Liberty, Ten Kentucky, named Carl Mays. Mays was always an elite pitcher. He was a pitcher that would get a lot of wins and had a low ERA. He also wouldn't get a lot of strikeouts and at times he would give up a decent amount of walks. But there was another problem he had, which was the reason this incident happened. Hit by pitches. In 1917, Mays hit 14 players. In 1918, it was 11. In 1919, it was 10. And in the year of 1920, it was seven. One of those hit by pitches would be the biggest mistake that Mays ever made and f that he would regret for the rest of his life. One of the players on the, on the Indians lineup that day was a 5'10", 170 pounder with blazing speed and he had a pretty good batting average but no power whatsoever. His name was Ray Chapman. Like I said the first time, Chapman had blazing speed when he played. He had 52 stolen bases in 1917, and normally stole around 20 to 30 bases a season. But when it comes to power, he was not the guy to go to. Chapman never hit five home runs in one season. In 1916, in 109 games played, he hit zero home runs. And for RBIs, not really the type of guy you wanted. But Chapman was a good leadoff hitter. Even though he didn't hit home runs or got RBIs, he still had a decent amount of hits. In 1917, he had 170 hits in one season. He was everything you wanted from a leadoff hitter. Fast, gets hissed, hits, and has a decent batting average at around 270 or sometimes 300. So, now that you know the situation, let's get to the main reason why you clicked on this video. The tragedy. Now, let me first remind you that in 1920, which was a century ago, it was a completely different type of game played. The sport was way less softer than today. Players didn't get paid the amount of money active MLB players get paid. But then there was the baseball hel helmets that still weren't around. The baseball helmets thing will be very important later in the video. But now, let's get to this tragedy. The game started off like any other baseball game would. Just a normal day of baseball for everybody. But in the fifth inning, it would be the last inning and moment of Ray Chapman's life. The count was one ball and one strike, but the next pitch was a fastball that would hit Ray Chapman right on the head. The ball would end up rolling to third base. At first, everyone thought it was a live ball and it actually hit Chapman's bat because he ducked. So Carl Mays ran to third and threw the ball to first for the out. But then, this is where Ray Chapman collapsed as his left ear was bleeding. Several doctors rushed onto the field and asked Chapman some questions where he actually answered but was just mumbling, but would soon collapse again. Everyone at the stadium gasped as they were shocked to see Ray Chapman being hit. Chapman was rushed to St. Lawrence Hospital in Manhattan, but sadly a few hours later at 4.40 in the morning, Ray Chapman passed away at only 29 years old. His wife Katie, who was pregnant at the time, arrived at 10 o'clock in the morning and when she realized her husband passed away, she fainted. Chama would end up being buried in Cleveland with thousands of people at his funeral. Before we get to the what ifs, how about I tell you this? You're probably wondering, what happened to Carl Mays after Ray Chapman's passing? Well, he lasted in the MLB for another nine years, but wherever he went, he was hated by the fans due to, of course, the death of Ray Chapman. Even though Mays had some good years, that didn't matter. It's safe to say that if anybody ever tried learning from him, 
the main thing they would know was not his talents, but the person he killed. And in 1971, at the age of 79, Carl Mays passed away. To be honest, I feel really bad for the man. It was confirmed that he didn't hit Ray Chapman on purpose, and you must have felt really bad for taking his life away at the age of 29. But unfortunately, nobody looked at him the same way, and no, nobody looked at him the same way they used to, and his life was sadly a mess after that incident. But now let's get to the what ifs. Let's just start off with the clear what if. What if this incident never occurred? Well, a lot would, ha would happen actually. If Chapman kept up his good work, there was a chance he would have been inducted to the Hall of Fame. And of course, he would have lived a better and longer life. For Carl Mays, it would have been much easier for him in life as well. Now, do I think he would have been a Hall of Famer? I'm not too sure. But I do know he would have been under so much less stress. He would have been he wouldn't have been he wouldn't have been under stress, that much stress, because he did nothing wrong. The next one and the last one is what if helmets were around in 1920? Could that have saved Ray Chapman's life? Well, obviously. All these baseball players you see today getting hit on the head, well their helmet protects them. If helmets weren't around then, I'm sure Ray Chapman if helmets were around then, I'm sure Ray Chapman would have still been around, just missed some time with an injury. This death is so tragic and a bunch of other things could have happened instead of him dying. But unfortunately, that's what happened and there's no turning back. That is going to be it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. I'm out.